Hey, oh my planet zoo friends, Johnny Five Alive here. I'm joined with Zelixor. Hey yo. Welcome back to some more Planet Zoo Contest Edition. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Formosian black bear and the polar bear. And we have four creations in this episode, so it's gonna be a jam-packed one, so stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're gonna dive right on into things, starting with the Dewey Canyon. Black Bear Enclosure, created by Mr. Vanderpants, one of our Discord master builders, and here they say, hey Johnny and Channel 5 gang, welcome to the Dewey Canyon, uh, a black bear a black bear enclosure in, in containing a huge canyon and a jungle in which the bears can hide away from the zoo's visitors. This park file also includes a small restaurant, staff hub, and multiple viewing platforms looking out over the enclosure. Hope you all enjoy. Ba boom -tsh. Okay, let's get on into it. So, which way are we going? Let's uh, let's just go this way and see where we're going. Okay. Viewing area. Ooh, what's that building? That's nuts. Oh, indeed. Hmm. Let's go on in here. Check it out. Hey. Okay, that's nice cool. fencing. The double rail, we were talking about K-Rombus creation. Uh -huh. Oh, these buildings are so nice. They are sick. Let's go inside here. Ooh, very open. Mm. Nice decorations. Yeah. 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 Toilets, ATM. <clears throat> Sweet. I mean, it's it's like a small oh. habitat, and it's beautiful. You know, this is exactly what works. we wanted from the contest. Something that you would see uh, adapted into a real zoo, right? Yeah. Feels like we're in a zoo right now. We just not going to see yeah. any other exhibits. All right. You yeah, could imagine there it. being like a crocodile enclosure there or something. Mm -hmm. A staffing area tucked away back here. Hey, that's actually really nice. They even have their own like layers. balcony. Oh, that's not a balcony. It's just um, <laughs> it's just a chill area. Get some shade. No, it's nice. Very cool. See, that's what I like is a, a, a nice looking staff area, not just blocks. You know. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful it's circle discreet. area up top. That's great. Yeah. Shh. Zomo Pufu. Pufu. That's amazing. Yeah. The views and the way this all rolls together. I like the rock work here, too. Damn. Looking good, Mr. Vanderpants. Mm -hmm. These are tiny. <laughs> Is that a cop? No. Female, maybe? Maybe. Bob Cam. <laughs> Here's an ice block. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Oh, yeah. Someone almost what? came through the wall there. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it's always something crazy happening in these episodes. Yeah. We only saw one bear. Where are the rest hiding at? Wasn't there one behind you? Like, in the bushes? To your mating call. Oh, no, it was a tree. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of sound does a bear make? I can't do it. <laughs> Maybe if it has a I cold. Gotta, I, yeah. <laughs> my my throat doesn't go that way. Mm. Yeah. That nah, looks great. That's yeah, it's beautiful. Check the. Uh, can you highlight the barrier? What do they got? A sauna in there? What is this? I mean, it is a jungle. It looks it's awesome. Moist in there, always. Oh. Moist. <laughs> Where's the le rest of the bears? Oh. Select. Hey, oh. hey, little guy. We just select the barrier, right? He's got wiggly Let's turds. Oh, then what have you been turd. eating? Wiggly turd. Wiggly turd. Does whatever a wiggly turd does. What, what, what would you want from me? What do you want from me? Let's select, select the barrier and then uh, see how many animals there are. Three. One. 
more fun to... Oh, he's been hiding in incognito. Uh -huh. But I never found you hiding in that fern. Oh. Two bears, one oh. fern. Oh, perfect. He's in <laughs> the staff. <laughs> 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 This is interesting. That's a crossover episode with uh, Zach Galifianakis between two, two ferns. Yes, two ferns. And uh, Bert and. Uh, yeah. If anyone wants to know the reference, we're hinting at it. it's two bears, one K with uh, Tom Segura and Bert Kreischer. It's amazing. Go Bert check Kreischer. it out on yeah. your mom's house podcast. Boom. Yes. I did not get paid for that plug. There we go. No. Really amazing stuff by Mr. Vanderpants. We have three more creations, so we're going to move it along quite quickly. But I think this is a top quality one by a master. Yes. Certainly masterful. Boom. What did you guys think? If you enjoyed it the most, be sure to vote on it. Voting thin things in the right hand corner. Uh, but we got three more to check out. So let's go. The Black Forest created by Amora, one of our Discord Ooh. advanced builders, Ruby patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Here she says, not much to say here. It's a small habitat with an open air design. Open air design. Whoa, mm -hmm. what does that mean? I hope you enjoy it's, it. Uh, uh -huh. Last time I was in a closed air design. It's really weird. Okay, well, let's just kill some time and make use of some of this B-roll here. Okay, and boom, let's check out the creation. Here we are, I think. Wah! Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Experience that open air. Here we are. Hey, bear bridges. Two bears, bear one bridge. bridge. I'm always, I'm always like, um, don't fall in. When I see that, yeah, I'm always a bit afraid with those walkways and then that rock. I'm just like, I can just jump out, right? It's true. I'm so confused. The guests get here and then they have to leave. Can they get up, up top? Yeah, they can. Because there's no railing there. No. There's... This is it. Like, up there. This is it? Gucci! Did you just hear that? Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> Gucci! Well, hello. Oh, I'm mating. Getting Gucci. Well, then. Uh, well... I would like to see the guests be able to move around a little bit. Because that's what I mean. Like, you know, up top here, why wouldn't they freak out? Yeah. You know. That's a good point. Where's the Where's the barrier? It's a null barrier. Um, how do you select it? There we go. Boop. Oh, there it is. No, it's down below. Yeah, there there is a problem here because if the bear comes up top, well, no, because this is the barrier. They're still within it. Yeah. So, what the heck? Oh, okay. Get away from me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, they would have to actually cross over here, which they might yeah, be able to okay. do. Yeah, okay. No, so it works out fine. The staffing's back here. There's not... Uh, yeah. There's not a lot going on in terms of the forestry. I would like to see it embedded into the mountains and the forest a little bit more. You know, it's feeling a little bit sparse for me. Mm. Um, would like and to see more you think about rails the and... Black forest. Yeah. You know exactly uh with palm trees and cherry blossom it's maybe a bit i don't know mm -hmm. throwing you off a little bit but uh yeah i mean i liked all the different elevations and yeah the, the bear has they have stuff but the, the guests don't i feel like it needs to be a little bit of a symbiosis between the, the you know the, the park the guests and the animal itself i feel like it's lacking mm. a little bit here you know there's not even rails or anything yeah. So I would just be like pooping seven colors <clears throat> if I have to get in here. I don't know. And it's something that freaks me out. Of yes. Not, not being any like railing up top or a fence. Just pooping seven colors. I never heard that. So you have rainbow farts. Yeah, basically. It's a Dutch <laughs> saying. Uh, it's quite clear. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, well, well we're you gonna... learn something new every day. Yep. Right. <laughs> so there's the Black Forest Biomora. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below if you have any feedback, suggestions, or thoughts. And we are going to rainbow fart our way to the next creation. <laughs> Polar Bear Igloo, created by Pikachu, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, hey, yo, this is my submission for the Channel 5 Gaming Habitat Challenge. It is a polar bear habitat with a big igloo shelter and a lake with broken island with a with a lake with a broken island for climate change awareness it has a plaza with some shops a huge viewing area a toilet a staff facility area and of course 
polar bears have fun i love how it just have to mention and a toilet sometimes we forget those and it's <laughs> embarrassing so no. let's check it out it's another snowy one love me the snowy areas okay we got the the whole nordic viking what was this pack called i don't even know the winter pack, the winter, winter pack whatever. it's nice the one without the uh penguins the one is <laughs> so salty do we can we <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh man, we can't get through an episode without a dash of salt, can we? No. No. Can you go to the right here? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this is killing me. I love it though. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Okay. Oh, look at this icy so staircase. Yeah. When did the pack came out? So basically, you build this quite late. Ooh. Um, that's nice. It should be like a skating rink. If, yeah. You know? Can you skate? Me? Yeah? Uh, not very well. Um, it's, I haven't done it since I was a child. And last time I did it as a child, I cracked my head pretty hard. Mm, yeah. I'm not a good skater, no. I could, I used to rollerblade pretty okay. Right. But the ice is slippery. It's not the same. Yeah. No. I'm not good on ice. This is really cool. It's such an open concept. Yeah, I like it. It feels like we came I mean, to the bears, you know? You cannot... Yeah, it's like you actually... Yeah, it's true. Just like, oh, we'll build this platform above this freaking polar bear yeah, cave. This family lives here, yeah. The rock work is a bit interesting. I wouldn't have gone with all the smaller rocks. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit. I don't know. It's 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 tricky to to do it with the terrain, but you have to into the terrain a bit more, mm -hmm. so they poke out just a little bit, right? And then yeah, it looks a bit more natural. Yeah. So for next time, it's... I would probably not even go with the boulders at all. Uh, that's something you would feel like you would see more of that around the shores, like you know, little icebergs or clumps. What is it? Yeah. There's icebergs and glaciers. Which ones are the small ones? Icebergs? I always get them confused. I, mean, I don't know. It depends. Icebergs can be huge because you only see the top and the rest is okay, below the, okay, the water. What's the difference right? then? Glacier? A glacier is in, in a. It's like this giant ice thing of ice so they, in between mountains. Right. Exactly. So it's an iceberg. That's what it's going for. So I was. Yeah. Wondering. Glacier is like a wall. But icebergs can be huge. Right. Because you don't see what's underneath. Right. Be oh my mountain. god. I got the heebie-jeebies googling icebergs. I don't know what it is, but water freaks me out. Like big water <laughs> masses, where you see, I, mm -hmm. it just feels so cold and dead. And like an iceberg in the middle of nowhere freaks me out. I don't know. Yeah. No? Okay. You don't feel the same way? Mm, no, yeah. I feel I mean, like the helplessness. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that, I would never go on a cruise or something. Oh, it feels like, terrifying. I love, I love water. I'm always like diving and stuff, but I wouldn't go be stuck on the ocean. That's like the worst thing you can do to me. Yep. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> I don't know if I should share this story or not. Yeah, we should. Share a story? When I was like oh, eight years oh, old, no. but okay, my, my okay. dad dropped me off on an island in the middle of an ocean and left. No. Yeah. And he came back like 20 minutes later, but it's traumatizing. How? That's probably why I hate okay. water. <laughs> <laughs> should I leave that well, in or? Uh, Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Well, I yeah. already said it now. It's... Yeah, why not? Okay, so there's my story. Traumatizing yeah. childhood. Um, Great. Don't like water. Don't um, like oceans. So can we have a quick look back, like, into the entrance? And then to the left, there was something. Look at this walkway here? Yeah. Oh, staff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. I kind of like that hanging there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like little, uh, these, right? I, yeah. I would have actually put those around it. What are those called? Why can't Icicle. Icicles, thank you. Have all this talk about icebergs and glaciers. <laughs> I can't even think of what an icicle is anymore. My brain. All the traumas coming the back. Tra <laughs> I mean, PTSD. PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't even think straight anymore. Just having flashbacks. So there's that. That's the thing. This is where they all hang out. Yeah. Anything to clean here? Uh, maybe. Let's have a look. No. Okay. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Why is these always these weird, awkward moments in this game? I don't know. Guy running around with a box. There's so many janitors. I, I, yeah. It's insane. Uh, there's one thing that I like about this is like, like I was said it in the beginning, it's like we came to the bears. I really like this open concept, but it is yeah. 
I, like you do need those like glaciers or something. You need a little bit more, you know, um, yeah. terrain, yeah. The icebergs, things embedded in a little bit. Some uh, patchy spots as well. Like it doesn't have to be snow everywhere. If this big open plaza area could use like kind of a gazebo or a shopping center in the center, you know, S mm -hmm. something here. But I, I, on the other hand, I also you you also it's what? really like I, I like it that it you, because you're going somewhere. It's kind like of like you, a big you're open this... plateau. Yeah, but you know at the end there is... Right. That's the goal, right? Yeah. I don't know. I guess, yeah, it kind of works, doesn't it? It does have a neat feel, like I said, ice rink. It gives you this yeah. neat feeling. Nice and open. It's it's somewhat comforting that it's open at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. All right, so another really cool creation here today by Pikachu. We have one more to visit for the day, so let's move on over. So the next one is... Uh, an interesting one. It is a pirate ship sanctuary by Yure. It is a blueprint, which kind of doesn't really follow the rules of the contest, as you can see here, which means like there are no animals by default. You know, uh, it's not built in with guests. It has no integration. So what do you think, Zell? I, I, I feel like we'll showcase it here, but I don't think we can vote on it in terms of fairness, because, you know, 70 other people follow the rules, whereas this one doesn't, oh. right? Am I, is, yeah, in a way. It's a, we, uh, we don't I, we don't have any pathing. We don't have any guests. We don't have any information. All that stuff is integrated into a park, and uh, yeah. this one doesn't follow any of the rules. So we're gonna showcase it here, but unfortunately, can you share your screen so I can oh, also view. I must have. Uh, <laughs> I, it must have closed because we we, we originally thought it didn't uh, go through, but it was a blueprint, and that's why I couldn't find it. So now Zell can't see anything. So yeah, here we are after a quick setup, some terraforming. I mean, it's beautiful. Yure, Yure, Yure. I mean, uh, he's a legend builder. This is legendary creation. I mean, uh, do you think this is all you hand think built? This is actually, isn't it? Yeah. But do you think this is for what? Do I think what? Do you, it's for the contest, or is it just a blueprint sent to the wrong? It says Polar Bear Architect or Arctic DLC. It's a mm. habitat spotlight. Yeah. Okay. So it is for the contest. And I remember Ferrana saying something she wanted to see Yure's. Um, here it is, but yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate that you didn't go ahead and set it up because if I were to Look at this. I think the habitat's cool um, But yeah. like how does the where's the overhead viewing? Where's the underhead viewing? Can the guests go inside of the ship? Like, you know, like how does this integrate with the guests and that's up to him to set up and I'm not quite sure in terms of uh, if, if we just had pathways around the outside I still say it lacks a little bit, you know, because all these other mm -hmm. people are building you know, staff facilities, entrances, you know, plazas, and all that stuff, food courts. Whereas this one, uh, it's just gonna be bears roaming around a pirate ship, which is cool, but we need to see the actual guest portion of this all, right? Mm. Yeah, you're right. So I do, but it does this look amazing. Is absolutely be because, crazy. <laughs> yeah, because it looks exact, it almost looks like an asset that belongs in the game. Right, yeah. but as we picked it apart here, these these are all individual pieces rotated I mean, and placed together. The mast I, just falling falling over, and and this ship broken into. I mean, it, it's absolutely. insane. This is yeah. legendary stuff right here. Yeah, this is. And I want to see this built into a park and see how that how you go about doing that. Are there, you know, um, are there some dock? What do you call them? Uh, docks? Docks? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Docks? Piers? Piers? Yes, or they're pier. piers. Yeah. Yeah. Do they come out when the guests can come out and that's where their viewing area? How does that work? How is the integration of the guests? Uh, because I think this feels to me more like a scenery than it does a habitat. Because I'm supposed to fill this up with water. Yeah. So where do the bears sleep, right? It doesn't come with any enrichment. This is the barrier right here. The snowman. Probably mat. there they sleep. There. In the f uh, yeah. Okay. Is there some bedding there? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Not a whole lot of room to roam. Where's our staff facilities? So yeah, in, in my opinion, it's, it's not quite a finished habitat but it's a, a brilliant scenery piece absolutely yeah, brilliant. absolutely i think it's the best thing we've seen so far as a scenery item built in this game yeah 
and it's unfortunate that it's not integrated into a mini zoo, right? Because yeah, I would yeah. love to see you take that pirate theme into your village and stuff, you know? Uh, mm. a pla what would a planet zoo pirate theme look like? I think you would be able to tell us that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna unfortunately allow this one to be included into the voting, but there it is as a fourth. Um, I mean, uh, all these creations were pretty amazing today, so whichever was your favorite of the first three, be sure to vote on it. Uh, the voting button will be in the top right hand corner the information button click that you can vote the top winner of this bracket will go on to the winner's bracket so there you guys go that is the uh, black bears and polar bears here today and uh, that's going to do it for us i hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next planet zoo video bye now bye now <laughs>